Jalen, in the uh, first quarter, you seemed to get hit in the face, the mouth. Where did you get hit? And you seemed frustrated and got fired up by that. Yeah, I took a couple hits to the face um, today. And one of them made my nose bleed. So, you know, I got after the refs a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. Jalen, <clears throat> the past few games, you guys have played a style that we haven't seen consistently since the first couple months of the season. What's led to that kind of consistency over the past three games? Um, just reemphasizing who we want to be, um, stepping up, being more vocal, communicating more. Um, just that time of the year. Malcolm said that when Milwaukee retook the top seed, that was a bit of a shock to you guys, and that it's important to go for that that top seed. What what was that feeling? of looking at the standings and seeing that you guys had dropped and and what's it like now to say okay we're, we're we got to make a concerted effort to go for that top seed um obviously seeding is important um but how you plan is more important um i was more focused on you know how we were playing and what our seed was and i thought that even though we were the best team in the league um, for a large majority of this season it was stretches in the season where we were winning games and, you know, because we were better than teams, but we weren't playing the way we were capable of. Um, kind of got comfortable at, at different moments. And we'll pull games out. And even though we won, everybody would be happy. But in reality, we should have been, shouldn't have even been close. Um, so now, you know, with us in a little bit of the, the hunt again, you know, everybody kind of refocuses and, and plays the way we need to play. Jalen, fans gave you a pretty loud ovation in the fourth quarter coming out. Uh, in the light of your recent comments about your future here, did that mean a little more? Um, I just come out every day and just do my job. That's all I'm focused on. Jen, earlier this year, I'm, someone uh, referred to you as like a, a 1A option, and it seemed like that bothered you. How much do kind of you know, games like this where you are out there as like the lone all-star and like showing people, look, I am – a one option, I'd be a one option on basically every team around the NBA. Uh, what, how does it motivate you when you have these opportunities? Uh, it, it's great and it's, it's fun. Um, it's a challenge, you know. Um, I get up every day and, and do my job, you know. Um, whether it's, you know, they ask me to score, defend, rebound. You know, I've always been, since I've been here in Boston, I've always taken pride in doing what I've been asked to do. And whatever challenge that's been, I've always met that challenge with, you know, excitement and a willingness to be a part of a team. You know, when you get the opportunity to be um, the guy that, you know, everybody's kind of leaning on, um, it's a privilege, it's an honor. So I don't take those moments for granted. I come out each and every night and I'm, I strap my shoes up and I get my guys ready to go. Jalen, are you looking forward to tomorrow? And what do you plan on talking about? What do you plan on uh, kind of focusing on and, is this kind of a moment that you've kind of wanted to be able to go to Washington, D.C. and talk to, to decision makers? Um, anytime you can use your platform to leverage, you know, things that are going on in the community, I think the, the focus of the conversation is the, um, the raise your age limit, you know, what you can be convicted as and what age limit, you know, from 16 to 18, depending on the state that you live in. Um, so I think that's majority of the, uh, the conver uh, conversation uh, um, when – formerly incarcerated people are rein, reintroduced to society, you know, what that looks like, you know. Um, a lot of times you can't get a job, you can't, you know, buy a house or anything once you come back from serving your time. So these are conversations that, you know, people are having and these are affecting people's lives. So um, anytime you get to use your platform to go to a place and, and, and speak for people who are not spoken for, uh, I think it's an honor. And is this something that you look just as forward to as a big game? Um, absolutely, you know, um, absolutely. Policy change, you know, bills being passed, you know, affect not just people that are in front of you, it affects people in the next generation as well. Um, so anytime you can have an impact on how 
um, decisions are being made or laws are being written or transgressed, I think that's extremely, extremely important. Do you have any bills that you're particularly supporting or endorsing, or are you just going there to talk about like, general concepts? Um, I think we just, for now, I guess we're going there just to have the conversation. Um, you know, we've been welcomed or invited, you know, so um, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated. And for basketball, uh, for a lot of your career, your big scoring nights would come with you just would like catch fire from deep, hit a lot of deep contested shots tonight. Everything was coming in the paint. I think you're like 16 or 16 for 19 from two. Um, how much do you feel like your game has reshaped over the last few years from being a scorer that like got so much of his work from being able to be a great catch and shoot guy to being able to really control the game with your dribbling? Um, I think that you know overall throughout the years my role has changed. My responsibility has been different each and every year, and I've tried to be the best version of the role that I've been asked to. And then the amount of experience that you get being in the role that I'm in now allows you to grow, allows you to get better. Um, but at the same time, I think my roles have been different. My responsibilities have been different. And now, you know, I, I'm getting the experience and the opportunity that I'm grateful to have. Uh, I'm just showing, like, the opportunity to, to show my potential and what I can do and what I'm capable of, you know, at the highest level. And those moments you can't take for granted. These last few years, it's like you've been one of like the real core guys of the offense. So do you feel like at this point, it's less about like you're filling a role you're being asked to, or rather you, you have created the role that is what you should be fitting into? Exactly. You know, um, I think it's more of that. As I've, one, gotten better and improved through experience and just maturation as, you know, a basketball player and as a man. Two, you know, I've cultivated the style of, of play that I feel like is, is conducive for me, but also our team, like getting to the paint, um, getting to my sweet spots in the mid-range, um, you know, taking threes that I, I like, catch and shoot, but not overdoing it, shooting 10 plus a game, you know, um, just finding a pace and a comfort in, in my play and being able to, you know, get my guys ready to go. I have a couple, sorry, Christian. Uh, we talked about the mask on the floor, but is your cheek healed? And does it feel like, even if it is, that it affords you, like, an extra level of protection? And do you feel more aggressive out there? I think it's not fully healed. I think what they said, like, you got, like, six weeks until, like, the cartilage starts to grow back. So um, you're, I guess, safe if you were to take another hit. Um, but, you know, you still got, like, another six weeks before, you know, I guess it fully gets back to where it is or where it's supposed to be. Um, so I guess technically, you know, I got like a couple more days or I don't have to wear it anymore um, if I didn't want to. But if you want to be safe, they say, you know, you keep wearing it. So um, my mom wants me to wear it, so I'll probably keep wearing it. Moms are always right. All right. Um, and then Rob mentioned in the locker room just how much more vocal of a leader you've been pretty much all season. Was that something, a mindset you came in with this year? And, and how have you been able to do that? Um, yeah, that is something that, you know, I always try to improve in different facets each year is just leadership. You know, obviously you got a, a team that is capable of going all the way. So um, leadership is extremely important. And this year has been ups and downs, you know, due to, you know, all the other kind of outside stuff that's been going on where my voice has, you know, been there and sometimes it's not. But as we get closer to the playoffs, I plan on um, communicating as much as I can to help this team get over the hump.